Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Brooks from the Dalton Library, and I like books. Today we're going to read Frog and Toad Together by Arnold LaBelle, an I Can Read book. Chapter one is entitled A List. One morning, Toad sat in bed. I have many things to do, he said. I will write them all down on a list so that I can remember them. Toad wrote on a piece of paper, a list of things to do. Then he wrote, wake up. I have done that, said Toad, and he crossed out wake Then Toad wrote other things on the paper. Wake up, eat breakfast, get dressed, go to Frog's house, take walk with Frog, eat lunch, take nap, play games with Frog, eat supper, go to sleep. There, said Toad, now my day is all written down. He got out of bed and had something to eat. Then Toad crossed out, eat breakfast. Toad took his clothes out of the closet and put them on. Then he crossed out, get dressed. Toad put the list in his pocket. He opened the door and walked out into the morning. Soon Toad was at Frog's front door. He took the list from his pocket and crossed out, Go to Frog's house. Toad knocked at the door. Hello, said Frog. Look at my list of things to do, said Toad. Oh, said Frog. That is very nice. Toad said, my list tells me that we will go for a walk. All right, said Frog. I am ready. Frog and Toad went on a long walk. Then Toad took the list from his pocket again. He crossed out, take walk with Frog. Just then there was a strong wind. It blew the list out of Toad's hand. The list blew high up into the air. Help, cried Toad. My list is blowing away. What will I do without my list? Hurry, said Frog. We will run and catch it. No, shouted Toad. I cannot do that. Why not, asked Frog. Because, well, Toad, Running after my list is not one of the things that I wrote on my list of things to do. Frog ran after the list. He ran over the hills and swamps, but the list blew on and on. At last, Fro Frog came back to Toad. I am sorry, gasped Frog, but I cannot catch your list. Blah, said Toad. I cannot remember any of the things that were on my list of things to do. I will just have to sit here and do nothing, said Toad. Toad sat and did nothing. Frog sat with him. After a long time, Frog said, Toad, it is getting dark. We should be going to sleep now. Go to sleep, shouted Toad. That was the last thing on my list. Toad wrote on the ground with a stick, go to sleep. Then he crossed out, go to sleep. There, said Toad. Now my day is all crossed out. I am glad, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad 
went right to sleep. Sometimes when you want to organize your day, making a list of things to do is a good idea. But don't let your organization control you. You control your list. The end.